If you're a personal injury lawyer and you don't watch this video to the end, you're basically throwing your money away because what I'm going to break down is an analysis that our company did after looking at 10,000 signed motor vehicle accident cases um, and how you can use these insights to dial in your firm's internet marketing as a PI firm. This is what we call the personal injury lawyer paid playbook, which is going to show you where to spend your money online when you're marketing a personal injury law firm, specifically when you're going after motor vehicle accident cases. And what I'm first going to start with in this video is the psychology of a PI client, especially in car accidents. Um, so really what's going through the mind of that client and what are the demographics of that ideal client that you want to target on the internet? Then I'll break it down by platform. So I'll go into social media, I'll go into Google paid, and then I'll go into Google SEO um, so that you can learn the principles that are working best to dial in these three forms of your marketing on the internet. So let's start with the psychology first. The first overarching concept that is an irrefutable truth, so important to lean into um, is the number one consumer need in PI. And that is to find out what my case is worth now. So through the mind of a PI client, they're thinking that they're going to get money from this potential case of theirs. And that's what's going through their mind. So specifically what you have to cater to in your marketing is finding out what my case is worth right now. Now is a very important word too, because that shows recency, immediacy, urgency, which is important leading to my next point. Target the lower 50% income brackets. 80% of signed cases come from the lower income brackets for personal injury. These are the people who don't have a lawyer that they know and have to use the internet to find the right lawyer, right? This is where the majority of your legitimate cases are going to come from is the lower 50% income brackets. Um, and that's why it's important. You don't want to target high, you know, high income areas uh, typically when you're doing PI and you don't want to have any you know, preeminent messaging uh, that could scare away someone who doesn't yet know that your services aren't going to cost them any money up front. So you really don't want to scare away that lower 50% income bracket by being too preeminent. The third thing is accident lawyer as a terminology. So what works best to sign up MVA cases is, is the terminology accident lawyer. And that's because when someone is thinking or typing in the word accident lawyer, it's more likely that they've been in an accident, right? Whereas when they type in the keyword or think injury lawyer, that's more of an overarching industry term. You will get signed cases from injury lawyer, but your cost per signed case is going to go up. And that's because uh, using that terminology in your marketing injury does not specify that they are in an accident, right? And when someone types in or is thinking or relating to the accident keyword, it's more likely that they were in an accident. Okay. Number four is mobile devices sign 80% of signed cases. Okay. Mobile devices is the name of the game because PI is an immediacy niche. 98% uh, of PI clients will sign up within the first two days of them making their first internet search with a firm. Um, so this is about mobile device searching uh, because it's more of an urgent search platform. Whereas typically people who use desktop when they're doing more long tail research on things like estate planning and other verticals where they do more research and planning, uh, mobile devices are the name of the game in PI. The next is age brackets. Um, you can most times exclude the 65 plus age bracket and you could exclude any age under 24 years old in pretty much all of your marketing. Uh, we found that the sweet spot is really between 25 and 44 years old as the target demographic, the target for PI. So however you can do that in, in your online advertising settings, uh, which is super simple to do now on Facebook and Google, uh, target your ads to that sweet spot of 25 to 44. Um, and last but not least is intake. And this is another very important principle. What you'll see is working in PI often violates what um, people will sell you as marketers, right? 
what does every PI attorney want? Every PI attorney wants qualified leads. They don't want tire kickers. They don't want BS leads. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you want perfect phone calls for every single PI lead that you get, you're going to be out of business because this is a numbers game. And they're the strategies that we see work the best are the ones that produce volume and unqualified leads. But the key is not how many unqualified leads you get, it's your overall cost per sign case, right? So there, are, there there's um, strategies that I'll break down for you in, in the next part of this, where like you may need to bid on keywords that aren't perfectly directly relevant to people wanting a car accident lawyer, but will lead to that and your intake team has to be prepared for that and prepared for objection handling and handling those types of leads the right way. Also, there's huge opportunities uh, in showing your ads from 7 to 9 a.m. on workdays and 5 to 9 p.m. after the workday, because um, that's actually when we see the most signups happen before and after work hours. Um, and then also on weekends, right? So it's one thing for a marketing company to say, oh, we need to increase your ads, you know, ad spend or advertising aggression on weekends and nights. But if your intake team can't handle that, uh, along with they can't handle, you know, the quote tire kickers, then uh, what I'm about to share with you is going to, you know, um, your competitors are going to steal cases from you because they're already doing this. Uh, let me just put it that way. So your intake team has to be synonymous with your advertising strategy. I hope I'm being clear about that. So those are the overall principles that we've seen in our research and development on thousands of signed cases regarding the psychology of a PI client. Now I'm going to go platform by platform, starting with social media. And I'm going to share with you first what we know works on social media to generate signed MBA cases. The first thing is retargeting. So this is super important. I know you've heard this before, but it's very important that you have a solid retargeting strategy in place to take every penny that you spend on Google and follow all of those eyeballs around on Facebook. So I hope I'm being clear and simple about like, it is so simple to do to just retarget literally on Facebook, everyone who saw your ads on Google, everyone who clicks your ads on Google, anyone who visits your law firm's webpage, any SEO traffic or Google ads traffic that your PI firm gets must be retargeted on social media, okay? It is the cheapest cost to acquire cases retargeting on hot traffic, right? So I want you to immediately launch a retargeting campaign if you don't have one right now because you are throwing money away if you're not, especially on Facebook ads, Facebook and Instagram. Now on YouTube and Google retargeting, it's harder to get ads launched uh, for that, but it's much more lenient on Facebook being an injury attorney. You can get away with launching retargeting ads much easier on Facebook and Instagram, okay? So what does that look like? It's either a running video of a client testimonial um, of yours. It's um, a picture of a client holding a check. If you can, uh, you know, get through, you know, uh, the advertising guidelines for that, which is pretty easy to do. Simple retargeting. That's it. Or you can do a video educational video, right? As your retargeting ad on social. Okay. Lead gen. So this is social media lead gen. This is separate from retargeting, okay? Everyone thinks that social media lead gen doesn't work for car accidents. It does, okay? So here's what we found. Number one, video is what works the best when you're looking to get signed cases from social. I think we already know that, most of us. And number two is using numbers in your ads works the best, okay? Number three is using misconception education works in your ads. And I'll show you how we tie all this together. Um, so if the number one need that clients have is find out what my case is worth now, if that's what's going through their mind, right, then we need to use something like three mistakes, right? So this is misconception education that ties into this. So we're using a number, three mistakes that ruin 
the value of your case after a car accident, right? Three misconceptions about how much your case is worth, your car accident case is worth, right? So taking a number and a misconception frame and tying it into what a case is worth is a strategy that we've seen signs cases, right? Uh, the average cost per lead that we notice with this strategy is $250 per lead. Um, and that's very hard to reach, uh, in, in almost any other marketing channel. So definitely something to look into and, and start toying with those frames on social, um, for you to get a better return on social. Um, and obviously this is going to tie into this, the competitiveness of your geo. If it's a bigger geo, you can do a tighter, uh, if it's a bigger population area, you can do a tighter geographical radius and make it more specific to a town or, or a locale, right? That's going to increase the number of signed cases you get from it. So that's kind of like the overall social bucket for PI, right? Next bucket is local services ads. So Google paid, right? So local services ads in PI, um, what we're seeing right now across the board is it's become so competitive on local services ads, even if you set a really high budget on LSAs, we're seeing spotty delivery across the board with the majority of PI clients, right? So you actually should not expect a ton of leads from local services ads um, if you're in PI in most circumstances, okay? But that leads us to an opportunity. And this is, ties into your intake team stuff, right? There is something that's going around right now where PI lawyers are showing their local services ads for law, general law keywords. So when someone types in lawyer near me, lawyer town name, PI firms are uh, showing their personal injury firm when someone types in a keyword like that. And yes, you're going to get unqualified phone calls from that, but you're also going to get injury cases from that. So this is that thing where an attorney goes, okay, I don't want any unqualified leads, right? So I'm unwilling to experiment with, you know, launching on the general law category on LSAs, right? And that's, that makes sense, right? But if you don't know the whole story, the fact that your cost per sign case is going to be lower by doing this and all your intake team says to you is, oh, these leads are unqualified and they don't know the bigger picture strategy, right? Then you're going to eventually turn this off and you're going to miss out on an opportunity with this. Um, so the key is that your intake team knows how to rapidly sift through uh, a higher volume of leads that are going to be way or way lower cost per lead, right? So instead of paying five or six or seven hundred or eight hundred dollars for a lead, you're going to be paying fifty or forty dollars for a lead. So you can get way more at bats uh, by bidding on just the general law keywords which some people do type in when they have a car accident case. They type in lawyer town name unknowingly, and they don't think to type in the word injury or accident, and it triggers that general law category. So it's definitely something that we see is uh, worth a test in local services ads, and it is signing cases. Okay, the next thing is your traditional search ads, right? So on Google search, so at the very top of Google, there's local services ads. Right beneath that is the traditional search ads, right? So there's actually really two buckets of PI strategies that work, that we see work the best on search ads. Um, the Google search ads, which is below the local service ads. If you have a, we'll call it a competable budget, which we would label as a budget of over $20,000 a month, you can actually bid on the direct intent motor vehicle accident related keywords. So this is your car crash lawyer, car accident lawyer, car collision, car wreck, all the variations of car plus accident um, and, and the variations of accident, collision, crash, wreck. You can bid on all of those terms, but because they're so expensive, just know you're going to get less clicks, right? So if you have a $20,000 a month budget, you obviously also $20,000 or more. I'm talking 20000 to 200 to 500,000, like 
the same strategy really applies. You want to exclude everything but the lower 50% income brackets. You want to gear your ad messaging to what my case is worth now. You want to veer more towards the accident lawyer keywords, and you can go into the car accident keywords. You want to still gear more of your focus on mobile devices, exclude the age brackets I talked about, 65 plus and anything under 24 years old, and you still want your intake team to be dialed in, um, but you really want to focus on those accident keyword variations. And then if you truly hit a ceiling on accident variations, then you add in the injury variations, right? And then here's where it gets really interesting. That's, that's just using the intel around the concept of accident signing up more cases. But let's get a little bit more creative here. Let's say that you want to get lower cost leads and therefore a lower cost per sign case. Well, you wouldn't just want to go into the accident lawyer variations. You'd also want to potentially target research terms, right? So research terms um, could be something like uh, someone typing in a keyword um, like uh, car accident payout, filing a claim uh, with GEICO, injury plus car accident. So like herniated disc car accident, neck injury after car accident, um, car accident settlement, um, uh, traffic accident se settlement, um, uh, neck strain after car accident, right? So a car accident lawsuit is another variation, car accident claim, uh, car accident calculator, right? So these are what we call research terms and they are much cheaper to get leads on, right? And the problem is that your close rate is going to be lower on research terms. Your conversion rate is going to be lower on research terms. Your intake team is going to say, oh, we had X number of calls and they didn't turn into signed cases. But again, if you're paying one tenth the cost per lead of what you're spending on the accident lawyer keywords, is it worth it? And the answer is yes. If your intake team is prepared on how to take a research intent searcher and turn that into a signed client, and they can actually objection handle around it, it can be a wildly high return on investment um, strategy that you do for your firm. So that's just something to consider. Another one that we see works is bidding on competitors, right? So this is, um, you know, not really that big of a deal. I mean, we say it's a big deal, but you can bid on the names of your competitors, right? Of competing law firms in your market. You're, if they type in Joe Schmo Law Firm, a competitor in your market, your law firm's ad can show up when someone is typing in your competitor's law firm name, right? And it's completely kosher. You may get a cease and desist every now and then, but it is, a, it is approved by Google's policies that you do this as long as you don't mislead the searcher. So if your ad just clearly states your law firm's name, get a second opinion, and that's the headline, right? You're not misleading anyone, right? So it's completely kosher. Again, your, some of your competitors may get pissed off, but it is a low cost per sign case. So let's talk about why your intake team wouldn't like this. Well, your intake team wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't like having someone go, oh, is this Joe Schmo law firm? And if they're not prepared, they're gonna go, no, it's not. And then the person go, oh, okay. And then just hang up, right? But if your intake team is prepared and they know that you're doing this as a strategy within the firm, then they would go, oh no, this isn't Joe Schmo law firm, but uh, you know, we do X, Y, Z cases, I think better than them, but let me ask, what is your case type? Right. And boom, you can, you can, your uh, intake team can gear that into fact finding and turn it into a signed case. Right. Another one is on those general lawyer keywords, right? So if you find like a second tier geo, meaning a not, you know, think of like a ancillary town around a major town, right? So like, um, in Philadelphia, we have this town called Westchester, right? And Westchester isn't that competitive, but there is a courthouse in Westchester. And there's a lot of people who just type in Westchester lawyer, best Westchester lawyer, right? And they don't specify accident or injury in their search. That's another thing that kind of ties into what I was talking about on the local services ads. 
That's another thing that's going to get unqualified leads, but your cost per lead is going to be so much lower and you will sign up injury cases as long as your intake team is able to handle um, some of those uh, general law leads and sift through them, right? So you have lawyer keywords, general lawyer keywords, research keywords, and competitor keywords are ways to reduce your cost per signed case, but you are going to get more unqualified leads from it. And same thing with social, about 50% of the leads you get on social are going to be DQ'd, but the other 50% aren't going to be DQ'd if you frame the social ads the way I just told you, okay? Um, and then really the last bucket to look into for MVA is other niches of PI, right? So if you are a lower budget, if you're spending less than $20,000 a month on ads, and you just bid on accident lawyer keywords and the cost per click is $200 a click and you're spending, you know, $5,000 a month. I mean, just do the math on how many clicks you're getting. Like at that rate, it's kind of luck, right? Like if you get a couple additional clicks in a week that don't actually pick up the phone and call you, I mean, that could be make or break for your week's return on investment. That's why higher volume is usually the answer. And that's why if you're lower budget, you'd want to use more of these. Um, you'd want to use more of these experimental strategies to reduce your cost per lead. But again, your intake team must be ready for it. If all this isn't um, your cup of tea, the other decision that you need to make is going into a niche. I know many firms that didn't have the budget to start to market for MVA cases. And instead they started for dog bites. They started just claiming the slip and fall niche. They started by just going into a subset of PI that they could confidently dominate. And by doing that, some case types turn over pretty fast into cash. They're able to take that money and then reinvest it into the core PI practice uh, at the right time. Um, so what I think is really important here, like for me to kind of finish and, and tie up and say is like, if you can spend over, you know, 20 to a hundred thousand dollars a month on ads, do it. Don't tiptoe into advertising, right? If you tiptoe into advertising and PI, you're going to stay on this hamster wheel of churning through strategy after strategy after strategy when really it's just a budget problem. Like it's the most competitive vertical of law and you have to invest heavily to see a return. So, um, if you're not investing twenty to hundred thousand dollars a month on ads, um, just understand you're going to have to use one of these more experimental strategies, and your intake team is going to have to be prepared for it, uh, or you're going to have to go all in on social because social, uh, social, and the experimental keyword groups I just broke down on Google, those two buckets are going to be your lowest cost per sign case, but it's also going to be the highest unqualified lead percent that you get. And you need to be able to stomach that if you want to find these arbitrage opportunities. So that's our uh, overall kind of personal injury playbook. Um, and if you want any help with any of this stuff, um, I left the link below um, and you can reach out to our team and we'll help you through this. Um, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, we're going to have more practice area playbooks coming out soon. Talk to you soon.